Hey, what's up guys? So we're gonna be showing off the new Millennium Eyes Restrict, the new Pegasus support uh, for some of the legendary duelist cards. But anyways, so Millennium Eyes Restrict is a really cool card. What it does is it makes so if your opponent is trying to do something, you're gonna be able to just snatch the monster out of their field or in their graveyard. The whole point of the deck is just basically to pump this card out as quickly as possible as of right now. And I say as of right now because we only have a few cards. So basically making this guy over here is just really key in the deck. Now you can still snatch steal your opponent's monster just by using the Relinquish Fusion, which just lets you just go ahead and just send it to the uh, graveyard and just equip it to a eyes restrict monster. So that lets you basically just take something on uh, either player's turn. And uh, in addition to that, yeah, you're gonna be able to stop your opponent from potentially making boards, especially with some decks that need stepping stones to like, you know, make this monster and then the effect activates to, uh, you know, get back this monster from the grave, special them from the deck, whatever. And you just kind of stop them from being able to go for that stuff. And that actually could be really good, especially against any deck that really requires link summon. So anyways, Thousand Eyes Retrick, the classic card over here. A lot of the cards actually allow you to add other cards back. And I'll get more in depth once we get into the deck profile, but you guys can see over here, this monster could be vulnerable, but he's going to be able to uh, force him to activate this effect, and he's going to go ahead and just snatch steal him anyway. So you guys can see the Millennium Eyes Illusionist lets you just go ahead and again, snatch steal the monsters. That's the whole point of this deck is just basically to just get your opponent's stuff over and over for free. Um, and uh, if they do anything, you're just going to go ahead and lose more monsters. So basically, yeah, you guys can see over here, this card was to uh, banish uh, two 6 samurai monsters from your hand, then target a 6 samurai monster Griever, except for uh, itself and Special Summon. So basically, you're stealing the targets that uh, the Hatsume would have normally been able to target. And it can be really annoying because you're going to make this card just get stronger and stronger and stronger. And that's pretty cool. That's kind of like a boss monster that uh, can steal your opponent's stuff. And if they're going to activate anything, you just go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, now, I've got a few replays to share with you guys. So we'll get some variety up in here. We see... Um, the Trick Stars over here, very, very annoying deck to deal with, as anyone uh, could definitely uh, agree with. That deck, uh, in OCG, that deck is over, though. I mean, uh, the whole, uh, uh, the, the Trick Star uh, reincarnation, the uh, the card that basically destroys you turn one uh, is actually uh, at one, or is it banned in, T in OCG? Anyways, the, the point is, this deck isn't as strong anymore. Anyways, we see Instant Fusion activated, Max is an activated in response. We see Thousand Iron Strike going to be probably absorbed in some things. He's going to go ahead and try to take that. It's going to go ahead and uh, get wrecked by uh, the Millennium Eyes Illusionist over here. But since it was summoned with the instant fusion card it does go away anyways but anyways he's gonna go ahead and attack with some of the small cards over here rainbow Creole equipping it to the uh, card over there that just got exceeded um, Phantom Knight's break sword over here and uh, we see a set of Predator Plant and Darling Cobra. So there's a little bit of play with the deck. Like you can definitely mix in the Predator Plants, uh, heck, even some of the Gem Knight stuff for some of like the fusion cards, just so you get additional summons might be okay in Link era, just because sometimes you need to force your opponent to go for uh, like a, a negation. And then after that, you just go, okay, you wanna negate something or you're activating your monster's effects. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop you from uh, going off because, again, with the whole like Crystal Wing Synchro play over there, you're forcing your opponent to negate your stuff, but you're like, oh, it's fine because I can use my Millennium Eyes Illusionist, or you can use the Quick Play uh, Millennium card that uh, is a spell card, and you just get to, again, Snatch. So that's basically Snatch Steel Turbo is the deck. So you guys can see he stole something already, and because Thousand Eyes Restrict isn't too strong on its own unless it absorbed a really strong monster, he's just kind of using it as a stepping stone over here to make other things but in addition to that because of links uh, i know we're playing on Yu-Gi-Oh pro one as of right now because that the uh, file that was sent in was a Yu-Gi-Oh pro one by the way guys feel free to send a Yu -Gi -Oh, um two replays i, I would appreciate that because uh, you know as much as everyone really likes Yu-Gi-Oh pro 2 it seems like a lot of people still are up on Yu-Gi-Oh pro one now i already have a video uh that uh, I uploaded if you guys haven't downloaded Yu-Gi-Oh Pro 2. I'm gonna leave a link down below, but basically it looks much nicer, uh, the whole application. It's just, it's more streamlined. Anyways, see a Thousand Eyes Restrict summon once again, and you guys already know the deal. It's Snatch Steel Turbo City over here, and he's gonna go ahead 
And uh, even though this card has zero attack, uh, his opponent's like, oh, I'm just gonna attack into it, but he's like, oh, you know what, I'm gonna stand to the other monster. And it's just really tough to deal with this card. Now he's gonna go ahead and take 3,000 direct, but he chains the Dark Lord's Temptation. I actually would've taken the damage right there, but it's kind of hard, you guys can see, for most decks to deal with, because he's gonna go ahead and try to get another card with Superbia, but that target's gonna be gone, and he's getting even stronger. That's basically the uh, goal of the deck, and uh, like I said, I think this deck will be way, way, way better with Lynx, because if for however reason this card goes away or it gets its effects negated, what you're able to do is then just go into a Link Karibo, and Link Karibo can be special summoned at like any interval uh, after it's already in the graveyard uh, because the Millennium Eyes, Thousand Eyes Restrict, Relinquish, those are all level 1 monsters and you can just tribute them. But you guys can see he just he just took it for a turn. But there's just so many equipped cards. So maybe someone will run some anti equip cards to deal with this deck if it becomes meta. I don't know. Um, but, anyways, uh, I want to go over some of the cards just really quick over here. Uh, keep on guys this is just like a turbo build as of right now we don't have that many cards but i also wanted to mention that you can mix in heroes with this because i thought that that would be a really good interesting mix up uh because dark law there's sometimes there's only one answer to it uh which is you know you go for your one monster you'll go super minus just to get rid of that one dark law and with this deck, um, you don't really need your normal summon. Like I said before, if you want to mix in the Predator Plants, the Gem Knight Fusions, you can do crazy things in Link Era. But, I mean, this was Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 1. So, uh, like I said, guys, if you guys haven't downloaded Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2, uh, I'm going to post... Uh, well, I'm just going to link this video in the description box. The game looks m way, way nicer. Uh, and I just think it's overall um, just more streamlined again. But, uh, anyways... Let's get started and just kind of talk about some of the cards in the deck that you guys can actually try to run and different like builds because I think that a lot of people will be interested in this. I know Piper Chaos was a really popular deck and that did run Relinquished at one point. Now we have Thousand Eyes Restrict, so uh, Piper Chaos or any Chaos variant would definitely be good in this, especially because Elemental Hero Prisma happens to be a light monster, so that works quite well. Plus, you again, you can throw in some hero monsters and it'd be a really cool uh, deck to play like a Thousand Eyes Hero deck. That, I just think that sounds really cool. And again, because people only have like sometimes a few cards to get rid of that Dark Law, if you absorb whatever you know key combo that they are trying to make, you could just take it and then at that point they just say GG because you know Dark Law is a pretty good card still. But uh, anyways, like I said, this is uh, this is uh, an early build uh, that uh, was sent to me. There's two builds uh, actually here. But anyways, uh, Manju, this card, you know, it adds a ritual monster or a ritual spell. And then we have the three copies of Prisma. This card can actually let you just go ahead and send Relinquish to the graveyard. Um, you're not playing Thousand Eyes Idol. In fact, that card is not so great. I don't really recommend that card. Uh, in general, but there could be other builds you guys can try out. I, I, I always like to see innovative decks, but yeah, Elemental Prisma is just used for that effect. And then we have the Predator Plant engine, uh, so we got three copies of the Scorpio and two copies of the Cobra. So basically, this just lets you add the polymerization, so you're running the classic polymerization over here. Uh, there's, a, there's a few other cards, I think it's called Fusion Recovery, uh, over here lets you add polymerization and one fusion material moss that was used for a fusion summon, and then you can add them to your hand. So it can kind of add some cards back to your hand. I was also, like I said, thinking about um, Piper, um, which was a po popular variant, and it can definitely, again, be really good in Link era. Uh, there was also uh, a card called Kinka Bio, but yeah, w when you summon this card, you contribute it and uh, to draw a card, and if it's a level one monster, you can draw another one. Uh, you guys can see in this build, we're playing a few copies of Rainbow Karibo, but Relinquish technically is also uh, another target that can work well. And like I said, this, this deck was really popular a while ago. Let me go over Kinka Bio over here. So yeah, Kinka Bio lets you, um, some, once you summon it, uh, when this card is normal summon or flip face up, you can target one level one monster in your graveyard and special summon that target, but banish it when this card leaves the field and then the end phase, this card is going to come back. So maybe you can use this card to absorb, uh, well, this card gets out another card, then that card absorbs something, and then you guys can go from there, but you guys get the idea. It's just basically to kind of support this whole uh, level one uh, mechanic. But anyways, uh, next up we have three copies of Millennium Eyes Illusionist. Let me go actually move this over here so you guys can see like the new cards uh, in the deck. So uh, anyways, yeah, there's three copies of this. This is the card that lets you use it as a quick effect. You discard it, target effect monster your opponent controls, and you equip it to it to a uh, Eyes Restrict Fusion Monster or Relinquished you control. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty good card. And then if an Eyes Restrict Fusion Monster or Relinquished is special summon, you get to add this card from your graveyard to your hand. So that basically resets some of your plays. So uh, you know, you can just get snatch steal for more. <laughs> like it, it's a pretty nasty thing to uh, deal with. But um, 
Next up, we have the uh, Rainbow Karibos over here. This just lets you equip it so you can kind of survive. I'm not really sure how I feel about this card, but uh, it is technically a, a card that is uh, level one. So again, it can work with the Pie for Chaos. And then the classic Relinquish. And this is another one of the newer cards. I'm just gonna put all the newer cards down here, but we're playing three copies of Relinquished uh, fusion over here. So you fusion someone a eyes restrict fusion monster from your extra deck uh, by uh, banishing the fusion monster from your hand field or graveyard. And then during your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target a monster your opponent controls, and equip it to an eyes restrict fusion monster or relinquish you control. And then it's treated as it being equipped by its effect. So basically, we're running three copies of each one of the new cards. That's basically the point of it. Uh, triple allure of darkness because the whole deck is, um, you know, mostly darks uh, for the most part. And then we have Upstart Golem triple uh, instant. Infusion just lets you get out your thousand eyes restrict again. You can use it as a stepping stone um, for the uh, Millennium Eyes Restrict, and then we have um, the three copies of Hero Lives for this version of it. And then we have three copies of Fusion Conscription. So let's you uh, reveal Fusion Monster Extract and add one of the uh, proper targets for it. Then we have uh, three copies of Fusion Sage and three copies of Polymerization. A little bit slower for like a, a card. You know, a card I actually really would like in a Hero version of the deck is actually called King of the is it King of the Swamp. King of the Swamp, yes. So you uh, discard it to add a polymerization, and this could actually be a water target, uh, and then you can throw in things like Miracle Fusion, make absolute zero. I just, I like, again, crazy deck ideas, and this is a card I would consider playing over Fusion Sage, although this one technically is uh, a spell card, so, I mean, heck, you can mix Summoner Monk up in here, another dark target, then you can go for an Exceeds. Again, guys, we're talking about some other next level plays. I'd throw in Gofu here, because Gofu's still at three in the TCG uh, for the whole Link's uh, mechanics. Uh, and obviously, we have tons of room in this extra arc. Obviously, you want to play all the Nico Talkers, all of the, the standard stuff. But I also think some of the Chaos stuff would be really good in the deck. Now, unfortunately, Millennium Eyes Restrict is a dark. If it happened to be a light, I would throw an Honest in here, uh, simply because it would be really dirty to just get a huge monster. And then they're like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and try to make like, an even bigger monster. And you're just like, oh, I'm going to get rid of it anyway. So uh, keep that in mind, too. Uh, with, with Piper Chaos, I did see some people play Honest because of the whole... Uh, well, not Honest, uh, Black Luster Soldier. This card was just... Like, this card plus Honest is pretty much just, like, game on most most people. Or if you have our Armory Armory equipped to it. Uh, heck, throw in a Junk Synchron. I mean, we, we could go ahead and b build BLS Armory Arm deck. That was a, a deck that I made a long time ago that got super, super popular. But, um, yeah. Uh, junk Synchron, kind of cool. Black Luster. Like I said, you don't really need your normal summon in this deck. That's why there's a lot of room, I think, for innovative deck ideas. Keep in mind, guys, we only have... Well, I guess there's technically four new cards if you count like the uh, Relinquish, but as of right now, uh, we only have four cards uh, for the deck, and who knows, if we get extra support, this deck could be definitely pretty good. I think the thing that actually ruins this deck is things like Raigeki, uh, Dark Hole, anything that just kind of like has like a, a spell effect, like Hacking Smashing Ground, anything, because like you're invested into this card. All right, let's put it, let's put it uh, out there that... When you're making this card, usually you're going to have to exhaust a few things, and then you have things that you can equip to it, but if there's nothing that you can equip to it because the card isn't there, then yeah, there's a lot of consistency issues that you will be missing out on. But for the most part, most of the time when there's a monster out on board, people are going to be using their monster effects to get rid of your monsters. But uh, yeah, it's still a very good card. Uh, but like I said, there's, there's two different builds that I want to go over. This one over here is the uh, the one that's actually played Thousand Eyes Idol. I don't really recommend uh, playing Thousand Eyes Idol. I've just never been a fan of this guy. I mean, it's a level one. It is a vanilla. I mean, Rescue Rabbit, bam, you got double. <laughs> but uh, all jokes aside, I really don't know if I could recommend this build. Uh, like I said, I, I think that there's a lot of ways that you can play uh, the deck. Like I said, there's, there's so much room and there might be some new cards come out for it. But this one's playing double Thousand Eyes Idol, three copies of Senju, three copies of Manju, three copies of the Proto Plant Scorpio, two copies of Corbin and then three copies of Millennium Eyes Illusionist, playing three copies of Relink Rebo, um, which is, I think, I think, is this have to do with, like, links? But, uh, anyways, we, you guys can see, I don't think it had to do with Relinquish, I don't know. Anyways, you guys can see it over here. So if it's tribute, you get to draw a card, so you can use it as, uh, kind of the material for, uh, bringing out the Ritual Relinquish. It just lets you draw a card, and then, uh, if a monster you control will be destroyed by battle, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. I like this card specifically for that effect. Not only do you get a draw card, but um, you can actually banish it to keep your card alive. So um, I wish you could have it if it was destroyed by card effects. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's only destroyed by battle. But sometimes if your opponent doesn't have anything um, to, that activates effects, or they just summon a really bad monster and they're like, I'll attack into you, and you're just like, okay, well, I protect my monster. It, it can kind of help out with that. Um, another thing I wanted to mention with Relinquished, um, 
is that when both people, oh, when you battle, um, uh, battle damage from this card inflicts it to both players. Um, any battle damage you take from battles, oh, only the damage that you take. So basically if they attack into you, your opponent also takes the same amount of damage, which can actually be pretty dirty. Uh, and then we have three lure, three instant fusion, three fusion conscription, an upstart here in a card, a deck that's over 41. I don't know if I would recommend that, um, especially since I don't think that there's any synergy with it. I know with like uh, magic, uh, what do you call it? magic musketeers now, this would technically be a good card in it, even if you're playing over 40 cards because it just like gives you that. Although um, this might have been just a rush build just to again showcase off the deck. And then we have preparation of rights, three black illusion ritual, three copies of advanced ritual art, which is pretty good. Just lets you send a level one uh, monster to the graveyard. And I wanted to, um, but uh, you send any uh, normal monsters from your uh, deck to the uh, graveyard whose levels equal it. I was wondering if anyone knows if there's any like good like options for this. Um, going back to like uh, if you want to actually use like rituals to actually summon like you know probably black illusion ritual over here. Uh, I was thinking that you could just throw in like level eater. Um, I know level eater can't eat a level eater off of this. But because, again, you don't need your normal summon, I'm thinking that you can still definitely make use of level eater uh, in just a chaos deck because you can eat levels off of chaos sorcerer, black Luster soldier, other chaos monsters, heck, make a chaos dragon, snatch ceiling deck. I don't know, I just, I think, again, there's just so much room for this deck to uh, be innovative. And then we have three copies of Relinquished Fusion. Uh, no traps in here. I feel like... You could definitely still put in traps. I think warnings and strikes are still like, you know, viable cards in the game. Uh, but uh, I mean, more likely, I think the things that are going to be ruining this deck are potentially like spell and traps uh, because obviously, yeah, um, this is just going to be able to take monsters. But the deck is still definitely not that bad at all. I want to see what else they add to the deck because if this is all it has, um, if this monster goes away, you just have a lot of dead cards. Uh, but like I said, um, we'll have to wait and see what comes out in the future. And again, uh, there's a lot of room for innovative stuff in the deck. But anyways, guys, let me know what you thought of the new Pegasus Millennium Eyes Restrict. I think he's great, he's cool, he's definitely fun, and it's cool to see something back in the game that uh, we do to remember from one of uh, the iconic Yu-Gi-Oh! characters, Yugi Boy. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the new Millennium Eyes Pegasus deck in action. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos.